In this video, you are going to learn how to connect payments to your website through Salesforce using Chargent. I'm going to talk about a common use case for the Chargent app, which is integrating a website to Salesforce and Chargent in order to collect payments and donations online. I frequently see this use case with both our corporate customers as well as with our not-for-profit customers. Our customers would like to drive their customers and donors to their website to initiate payments and donations from there. And they want the customer and payment records to update in Salesforce for proper management and reporting. That way you can take payments right off your website but still have a record of it in Salesforce where the rest of your customer information is. With Salesforce and Chargent, customers and donors can initiate both one-time payments as well as recurring payments right from your website. My name is Stacy from Chargent and if you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn more about payments to be a superstar for your organization then smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Let's go over a couple of examples first. Example number one. A software company is advertising products and services on their website. Their customers browse their website and decide to make a purchase. At that point, the company would like to take the payment from their customer immediately, right from their website. The customer can enter their payment information, such as their credit card details, right onto the website to make the payment, and the data quickly and seamlessly flows through from the website to Salesforce and Chargent and ultimately the payment processor. The payment gets collected by the company and it's all done online with zero effort from the stack. We actually compiled a list of 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. It is available only to people like you who watch these videos. Look in the description of this video. You will find a link to download this exclusive content. Example number two, a not-for-profit organization which solicits both one-time donations and recurring donations on their website. On their website, the organization provides an option for the donor to select the amount which they wish to donate and whether it will be a one-time donation or a recurring donation. The donor enters their payment information, such as their bank account details, and the data flows quickly and seamlessly from the website to Salesforce and Chargent, and ultimately the payment processor and the donation is collected by the company. In addition, a record is created and configured in Salesforce, which will process the recurring donations on the designated schedule automatically with the power of Salesforce Apex, specifically the Chargent Recurring Batch. In both of these cases, the websites could have been connected directly to the payment gateway, such as Authorize.net or Stripe, by the organization's web developer. But then the customer and donor information would be disconnected from Salesforce where that data is managed. By pushing the transactions through Salesforce with Chargent and then onto the payment gateway, all of that valuable customer data is retained in a central location, Salesforce. So how can you accomplish these use cases? There are three options. The first option involves working with our partner, FormAssembly. With FormAssembly, you can create donation forms, event reservations, order forms, appointment bookings, and much more. The online forms can be set up on your company website, and FormAssembly offers a Chargent connector, which integrates the online forms with Salesforce and Chargent with very little configuration to be done. It is an out-of-the-box solution, which enables companies with this use case to get up and running very quickly. You can learn more about our partnership with FormAssembly and their Chargent connector on our website. The second option will require an experienced developer and the Chargent Platform Edition subscription in order to leverage the Chargent API. The developer will build the integration from the company website to Salesforce, configuring the integration to create the Chargent records in Salesforce, which can be set up for a one-time payment or for recurring payments. The Chargent API will be leveraged to make the call out to the gateway to do the one-time or initial payment transaction. When the payment is approved at the gateway, the payment processor will transfer the money from the customer or donor's account into the company's account. Moving forward, the Chargent recurring batch handles any recurring charges automatically. You might not want to do this in-house, so we also have a list of implementation partners on our website, which can be contracted for this project. One benefit of this use case 
case is that your customers and donors can make payments and donations through your website 24 seven at whatever time is best for them all online with the power of Salesforce and Chargent. The third option is to add a Salesforce flow to your website using embedded service. Embedded flows enable your customers and donors to complete simple automated tasks from within your website. This option will require building the Salesforce flow and I have great news about that. The Chargent application offers a flow enabled take payment component. The Chargent take payment component allows you to create a flow and use Chargent's take payment component to collect customer or donor payment information such as credit card details and make their payment by simply clicking a button. The Chargent team has done the heavy lifting for you. Please note that you will want to take advantage of the Chargent Platform Edition subscription to use the Chargent Take Payment component. Don't want to take payments on a public website? Consider using the Salesforce Experience Cloud, formerly known as Community Cloud, to help you to build a digital experience portal for your customers and donors. The Chargent Take Payment component is also designed to collect payments in the Salesforce Experience Cloud right out of the box. As you can now see, there are many ways to connect your web presence to Salesforce using Chargent. Still want to know more? Great, reach out to us today. And check out this next video where you'll learn all about how to set up recurring billing with Chargent. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.